sifting through our material um, inspired different things as well, you know. It was Jason who came up with this idea of, or this realisation that what the scientists are doing down there, you know, they, they drill down through the ice and they collect the ice cores, mm. you know, they might be, I don't know, 20, 30 metres deep, and then they pull up that big ice core and it gives them a historic kind of um, account, you know, of what happened 100 million years ago and what happened 50 million years ago. And it was Jason who sort of thought, well, Antarctica is, it's kind of like the place where um, memories of the planet go. And that's that's the vault. That's where they're all held, mm. you know. Um, and when he thought, when he mentioned that, it was like, wow, yeah, it's sort of like where, where memories sleep, you know. And then we thought, I was talking about Mother Nature before, um, that we could personify Antarctica as our kuya, you know, she's all of our grandmother, she's, and she's holding these memories for us, you know. And that was it, you know, as soon as we came up with that, it was like, wow, this is awesome. It's just a great way to connect people. I mean, when we talk about our grandmother, man, instant heart, mm. you know. We've created this narrative around our kuya being down there and uh, collecting all of the memories of the planet. Um, and then we have another, these other characters, the penguins, we've got these kind of penguins and we've personified them as well as these amazing hip hop dancers who, but aesthetically look more Japanese punk, you know, because they've got that, that sort of demeanor about them, mm. you know, they're sort of awkward and they're like, they're, they're badass, you know, they've got the attitude, like, hey, hey, what are you doing here, man, you know? <laughs> and putting them into this narrative and um, and using multimedia, you know, just creating a story that we feel people might, might feel personally connected to Antarctica through mm -hmm. it.